I'm starting to get more and more stressed over this whole pandemic, and I'm pregnant. What can I do to stay calm, not only as for, for the mom, but also for the baby? Well, I think the first thing is make sure that you've got good follow-up and uh, are getting all the normal routine checks that you need during pregnancy and that you can reassure yourself that, that you're, you and your baby are both well. Um, and, you know, you should be able to see your usual provider. Um, they will sure there might be a few extra things you have to do, like get your temperature taken and be careful as you go into the clinic. Um, but obviously look after yourself. Look after yourself physically, eat well, sleep well, um, do all the usual things you should do when you're pregnant. And I think that's, some, that's by far and away the most important thing. Good advice. All right. Thank you, doctor. Uh, next text coming in. I'm supposed to be graduating this year from UC Davis. I'm stressed over having to take online classes for the rest of the semester, not being able to walk in front of family and friends to get my degree. How are college students, and I would also say for my graduating senior in high school, how are they supposed to remain calm right now? They basically have, have lost all, the, all of that. I, yeah, I think there's no way of, of sugarcoating this one. I mean, the fact is people are having significant lots as a result of this pandemic. Think about the Olympic uh, athletes, you know, who aren't able to go to, uh, uh, to, to Japan or the many people playing sports as well. They're, they're missing out on a significant part of their careers. There are losses to do with this. Uh, it's unavoidable. You know, I think we're going to have to move forward and we'll get through this together. Um, and what I would suggest to, to the students like this is that they deliberately try and up the amount of uh, interaction uh, mainly online, of course, that they have with their colleagues and perhaps organize some special graduation parties and events once this is all through. Or we can do the Skype or Zoom cocktail party, right, that, you, that, you, that you've been pushing. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. You know, I think you're going to be, Walt, you're going to be the first person there, I think. <laughs> you know I will. Okay, uh, next question coming in. Is it true that we should maintain a schedule when teaching our kids and working from home? Uh, is it how how important is to maintain structure? Very important indeed, uh, particularly if it's children are meant to be you know at a time when they should be at school. Uh, so that you need to actually have routine. If necessary, write it down, organize the day you know hour by hour, so that there are certain things uh, going on throughout the day. However, take advantage of the fact that your children are there and that suddenly as a parent, you know, you're perhaps uh, doing much more with them than you would do normally. And, and get, get hold of some of those, you know, old interactive board games, things like Monopoly, Scrabble, Yahtzee. Play those games with your kids and actually put, put time into their schedule for that as a sort of reward for them doing their work. So maybe they get to play, you know, an hour or so of Monopoly in the afternoon with both mom and dad, which would be for them actually quite an unusual experience. Yeah. Okay. Next one coming in. How do I not freak out about all of my college courses becoming online when I'm not a fan of online classes to begin with? So I think that's that's a, a good question. Um, look, the reality is not everybody likes being taught online. Not everybody actually has the sort of the cognitive style that works learning online, and that's clearly going to be a disadvantage if you're someone like that. Um, in this in this situation, unfortunately, there really isn't much choice. Uh, because uh, clearly colleges have all gone online. Uh, they'll go back to, uh, you know, a more normal teaching process in the future. But I think, you know, what we're going to find when we come out of this is that actually probably more courses will be online uh, than there were before the pandemic. 